Sprawl is the growth of cities. Urban sprawl, also called sprawl or suburban sprawl, is the rapid expansion of geographic extent of cities and towns. This is often characterized by low density residential housing, single use zoning, and increased reliance on the private car for transportation needs. Urban sprawl is also caused in part by the need to accommodate a rising urban population. However, in many metropolitan areas, it results from a desire for increased living space and other residential amenities. Urban sprawl has been correlated with increased energy use, pollution, traffic congestion, and a decline in community distinctiveness and cohesiveness. In addition, by increasing the physical and environmental footprints of metropolitan areas, this leads to the destruction of wildlife habitat and as well as to fragmentation of remaining natural areas. So why does sprawl matter? Well, growth is inevitable in areas where people want to be and live in. So it's logical for growth to occur and expand outward, or is it? Yes, while sprawl contributes to growth, and more importantly, economic growth, there are many consequences with it. But are these costs weighted though? Well, let's see. Sprawl means less walking, more driving, more energy consumption, more pavement, more built space. It also means for many people, less exercise, more pollution, and less green space. This all leads to a worse quality of life eventually. So why is it so ideal? Close to the city, but within commuting distance, is very ideal for many. More so, the idea is not necessarily to slow sprawl, but more generally, how do we make existing places better? We're looking at smart growth. Well-planned developments that channel growth into existing areas by investing in cities and older suburbs while preserving space and protecting the environment. This could also mean sustainable development, which is society, economy, and environment together equally weighted. 